Hey, this is Pete from Metalheads, and uh, I'm here with Chris Jericho at the uh, Glendale University in Wrexham. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing great. I'm really excited to be here. I, I feel like I'm going to faint. Yeah, <laughs> like all those little kids that were in here. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's really exciting. Happy to be here. Happy to be back in Wales. Cool. Um, so you turned 41 yesterday. I did. I uh, had a gig in York. you have a good birthday? Yeah, it was a great birthday. Um, it was like a surprise that our, my manager had set up where they had like all of these pretty girls come on stage with cake. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hand it out to the audience. So, and it's funny though, like when you're, when you have people uh, sing happy birthday to you, it doesn't matter if you're 41 or if you're five years old, it's always a little embarrassing. Like you don't really know what to do. Yeah. Like do they have not, and people always like, like ah, they go like this, or you just stand there smiling, but you still never really know what to do. So you just all went with it. Yeah, you just <laughs> kind of stand with it's my birthday. So that yeah, was great. I mean, it's like, uh, if I can't be at home with my family, I'd rather be, you know, on the road with, with, with my brothers and hanging out with with all of the great Fozzie fans so it was, it was really cool totally and how uh, how bad was the hangover this morning no never I, I don't ever get hung over because all I do is drink Grey Goose and water right it's the hangover free cocktail <laughs> I'm telling you if you because what gets you hung over or hung over is the sugar in mix yeah and also too when you when you really drank a lot they always tell you to uh drink a lot of water at the end of the night. But mm -hmm. I've been drinking water all night, so I'm a step ahead of everybody. Uh, yeah. So that's it, Grey Goose and water, never get hung over. Oh, I should be endorsed by Grey Goose. <laughs> or endorsed by water, one of the two. Get endorsed by water. Yes. I don't think anyone's done that yet. That'd be good, yeah, be first good. time ever. Maybe Gene Simmons will try. <laughs> he tried everything yeah, else. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, so you are currently on a, a UK headline tour with your band Fozzy. Mm -hmm. uh, how has it been going so far? That's been amazing. Um, we've been, I think this is our ninth show in a row. Yep. Which is a little bit long. It would be nice to have a day off in there somewhere, but we like to, to play when, when we're on tour. And this is our fourth tour of the UK on the Chase and the Grail uh, album cycle. Yeah. So we have a, a really good reputation of, of playing everywhere. Like we mm. don't just play your London or you know Mer Birmingham or Manchester, or whatever. We play everywhere. And so this tour is basically strung together of all of all coming to some of the smaller towns around the UK, and it's been it's yeah. been amazing. It's been a lot of fun. And as you said, it was the fourth time you've been in the UK on Chasing yeah. the Grail. How yeah. do you feel that fans are now taking to Chasing the Grail? Because they've had a long time to. Look yeah, at I mean the songs go over great live. I mean the majority of the set is is, is Grail songs, and people know all the words, and there's certain you know crowd participation parts that they know, and God pounds his nails and. Uh, Modern No More and, and all that sort of thing. So mm. it's 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 been really really cool and it is kind of sad because after this tour is done, this is the end of the Chasing the Grail tour and some of these songs will probably be retired for a while, right, not yeah, to be yeah. played again. You know when the when the new record comes out. So um, it's 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 been a blast and, and like I said, the UK has always been um, a second home for us. We've yeah. had a great fan base here from from the moment that we first came here in two thousand and four. So we always make a, a point of, of touring here as much as we can mm. to say thanks to all of the, 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 the great fans that we, that we have and that we continue to build. Yeah, and the last time we met was at uh, Sonosphere Festival this year. Uh, I thought it was a tough slot for you because it was pissing down with rain and uh, you clashed with Bill Bailey as well. I was mm -hmm. in, uh, how, how did you enjoy Sonosphere this year? I loved it. I mean, it didn't start raining until actually we were playing our song called Under Black and Skies <laughs> and it actually started raining, which yeah. I didn't even realize until afterwards. And you know, clashing with Bill Bailey was well, better than clashing with Slipknot or, or Metallica or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah but I mean, we, the reviews were great and we really got, um, kind of on the map to a lot of people that, that didn't know us or didn't see us. And I remember one of the reviews in, maybe it was New Music Express or something, said that the three best bands of the weekend were Metallica, Weezer, and Fozzie. Like, so whenever you read things like that, it's always nice to know that people took notice of what we, were do of what we did. Yeah, and you've recently required a, a, acquired a new bassist as well. Uh, how are things going with Paul? Uh, amazing, he's, he's a great player. Uh, very skilled, mm. you know. He's played with everybody from, you know, Joe Lynn Turner to uh, Adrenaline Mob. He was there, and then he's played with Billy Joel and Paul Simon, like guys like that. So he's one of those guys, like yeah. really technically great, great guy. Looks amazing, great stage presence. He's like the missing piece of the puzzle that we didn't know we were missing until he got there. Mm. So um, everything that's been going on over the last couple of years has just seen the band like grow and grow and grow. And I think adding Paulie to the band is really going to help us get to the to the next level uh, when the next record is ready to come out. Yeah, and I noticed you have nearly half a million followers on Twitter. Uh -huh. uh, do you think it's essential for you know bands and other artists to be social on the net to be successful? Well, I think so. I mean, I, I think it's smart to do that. Um, you got to kind of stay ahead of the curve. And obviously, I mean, if you're James Hetfield, you probably don't have to worry about it as much. But, yeah. you know, um, it just helps 
I guess when I was a kid, if, I, if, if Steve Harris would have had a Twitter and I would have known what he had for breakfast or something, I would have been on there every day. Oh my gosh, yeah, you know? So I, I think it's a good way to connect with fans and kind of brings everybody closer together. I mean, it's really a small world that we live in nowadays and uh, Twitter just, just helps that. So, I mean, having, you know, whatever I have, 450,000 or whatever is, is a lot, mm. but compared to Justin Bieber, it's like 2%. <laughs> He's got like 14 million or something yeah, like that. So, bro. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it's cool though. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it was invented. And this actually gets quite addictive. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, now, not everybody may know that, but Fozzie's actually been a band for like 12 years now. Yeah, 12 uh, years, Which yeah. is a very long time. Yeah. Looking back on that, what would you say has been the highlight of Fozzie for you? Probably right now, like all the yeah. stuff that's been going on right now. I mean, this, this last year has been amazing. Uh, playing Sonosphere, being on the bill with, you know, Slipknot, Metallic, Anthrax, Slayer, Megadeth, Motorhead. We toured with Anthrax in the summer. That's cool. uh, we just did uh, the Uproar Festival, a bunch of dates in the States with Avenged Sevenfold and Bullet For My Valentine. Those were great gigs. Mm. Um, we played at the Golden Gods Awards in, in, in the States this year, which I hosted too, which was cool. So yeah. just the, the release of the Chasing the Grail record was finally like the, the perfect... Uh, example of, of, of what we are as a band and to see kind of the whole band grow as a result of the release of that record is, is, is pretty cool. Yeah, and there'll be people watching this as well that will be wondering about your wrestling career mm -hmm. as well. I was wondering what is the, uh, the future of your wrestling um, career right now? really isn't anything to say. Um, I stopped in September of last year yeah. because Grail was starting to really take off with the touring and stuff, and I think we've done like 14 countries on this tour so far. Yeah. But um, yeah, when I was a kid, I had two dreams. I wanted to be in a band and I wanted to be a wrestler, and I started playing in bands when I was 12 years old. I uh, always continued to play even when I started wrestling. Wrestling took off first, and I mm. love that, but I always still wanted to, to, to play music. And now to see this dream coming true as well, it's, I'm very fortunate and very lucky. But a lot of hard work went into it as well. Yeah. So um, will I ever go back to wrestling? I would never say no, but I have no plans right now. Mm. Uh, just uh, just Fozzie and, and some of the other things that I've been working on are kind of really taking up all my time at this point. Cool, do you still follow some of the, the wrestling oh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's not like I got mad at wrestling or was mm. pissed off or blah. I was just, I uh, had other things going on, like I said. So yeah, I followed as much as I can and watch it as much as I can. And mm. I know that actually they're all over here right now for a tour That's right, yeah. um, of the UK, which is funny because we're crossing paths like, we were in Glasgow like three days ago and they're there tonight sort of thing. Right, yeah. yeah. So um, maybe we've crossed paths on the highway on the buses somewhere. Mm. Uh, now you probably have one of the busiest schedules, you know, in the music business and, you know, as, as business as a whole. Um, what do you like to do in your spare time if you actually get any spare time? Well, the beauty of it is like, you know, we tour quite a bit and, you know, I'm always doing other stuff, but when I'm at home, I just stay at home with my mm. kids. I don't do anything but take care of them and drive them to school and do their homework with them and make them lunch and all that sort of thing. So that's pretty much the balance. Like I don't really work when I'm at home. That's that's home time and then work is work time. Yeah. So that's kind of gives me a little bit of a balance, you know, like I'm on the road quite a bit, but some dads work, you know, from 7 a.m. till 7 at night and their mm. kids are up for an hour and then they go to bed and they see them hardly at all. So yeah. it's a little bit of a trade off, but that's how it always seems to work best for me is just work time, home time, don't try and mix them. Right, yeah. Uh, we talked before, the uh, you know the Chase and the Grail album cycle is coming to an end now. Um, has there been any new material been written? I yeah, so. uh, actually um, we have, Rich is actually writing songs on the bus as we're traveling right now. And I wrote all my lyrics about three months ago. Mm. So how it works is I give him the lyrics, he goes through, gets ideas from that, writes riffs that might fit some of the lyrics that he's hearing in his head, and also takes other riffs and kind of chop and cut my lyrics, or takes other pieces of music and chop and cut my lyrics up to fit. Yeah. So um, he has about eight songs written. Quite a lot then. Yeah, quite a lot, yeah. yeah. We're gonna start trying to record, I think in January, and have it out next June. Oh, that's quite and soon. And come back then. and do all the festivals again next summer, yeah. Oh, wow, that's so, cool. Well, like I said, wanna keep the momentum going. Yeah, definitely. Well, Chris, Swan, thank you for having a chat with me today. Good luck with the rest of the tour. And all right, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Very cool. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks for making me a star. No problem. <laughs>